Okay? In this example, we're given the hypotenuse, but we're not given this length. Well, how does this length compare to that length? We can see that that length is in between our angle and the 90 degree angle. So we're going to call that our uh, adjacent side. So if I have the adjacent side in the hypotenuse, which trigonometric function should I use? Cosine. So I'll write my trigonometric statement, cosine of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. I'm sorry. Adjacent over hypotenuse. However, do we have an angle in this case? Yes. Cosine of 32 degrees equals the adjacent side, which is x, over 5. And again, all we need to do to solve for x is get the 5 off the denominator. So I'll multiply by 5 on both sides. And you have x is equal to 5 cosine of 32 degrees. So now, you're just going to type in your calculator. 5. Oh, again, make sure your mode is correct, right? Your mode's still in degrees, so that's good. So you're just going to type 5 times cosine of 32 degrees. And in this class, I'm going to expect you guys to round to the um, third decimal place. Okay? So I'm getting uh, 4.240. And it's an approximate. And since it's zero, we don't need to include zero as your third decimal point.